Hey guys, it's me Mitch Double Auto and welcome back to my channel. So previously we've seen the unboxing of the uh, FunSnap Zyba drone and today we're going to talk more about this drone and right now I was able to fly it uh, during this pandemic which is kind of hard for me to go out and just fly it somewhere else and of course with the strict restriction I was really having a hard time uh, getting to fly this drone and you can see that it's very compact so all you need to do is just pull out all these four uh, legs for it to become uh, the propeller so you can see it's really uh, very very portable so underneath we can see uh, it's battery pack which you need to slide before I can pull this out Okay, so I pulled out the battery pack So all I need to do is just press the button and see how much battery I still have It's still having four bars full charge then of course uh, I Have a protector for the camera module Okay, so this one can record up to 4k video, which is very nice and yeah, I capture a few videos and photos uh, during my trip to the Bayside, which I will show you a little bit later. So yeah, this one is pretty much easy to set up. At the back, we can see here's uh, where I insert my memory card. I just slap a 32 uh, gig of micro SD into this one. So I guess it's more than enough for me to fly it for roughly 30 minutes or so, or less than maybe. Uh, yeah, it's just quickly run down with some specs of this drone So this Diva drone is featuring a school foldable design up to 30 minutes of flight time Of course four quick shot modes Drony, rocket circle and helix uh, vlog modes and of course a 4k camera the yeah, it's I, I think this one can be considered as a uh, alternative to the uh, Mavic Air 2 so yeah, on board this camera, it's capable to record up to UHD 4K videos with 15 FPS and FHD 1080p with up to 60 FPS. The camera is installed on a two axis gimbal stabilizer. And thanks to the GPS assisted fail safe RTH, this quad captor will automatically return to the takeoff point in case of low battery voltage or RC signal loss. Of course, RTH can also be activated manually from the remote controller and did you know that the powerful brushless motors provide up to level 5 of wind resistance which is for me definitely a plus when you're flying on uh, beside the sea beside the bay which is kind of windy definitely and it will probably keep your drone a bit shaky while flying so with that level 5 wind resistance it's definitely a plus for this drone so how about let's take a quick look on some of the videos that I captured from this drone.
guys, I was able to have fun with this Zyba drone and I was able to, yeah, capture some great videos using this drone and I was able to share it to you and I'm glad that I was able to fly it despite of the restriction in my country where the pandemic is really bad here. So yeah, probably sooner if the restriction is lifted, I'll be able to share more great shots and great videos with you using this Zyba drone from Fansna, which is uh, one of Xiaomi's ecosystem company. And definitely, I highly recommend this one if you're going on a budget and you like to fly. Uh, well, just to capture some great moments, great views up there in the sky. And of course, taking some breathtaking shots. And I, I really highly recommend this one. And it's really easy to use, easy to navigate. And yeah, I didn't have a hard time playing with this stuff. And definitely, I highly recommend this FunSnap. Zyba drone. So if you want to know where I bought this item, check on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here from my channel. So I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.